Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty, guys. Just get in there and get your hands dirty. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out why I have a small vibration on my car. I don't know whether it's due down to the um, engine mount. You've got one there which is the torque mount which stops the rock of the engine. You've got an actual engine mount here which actually holds the engine in place. You've obviously also got one uh, this side underneath the air box which holds the engine in place. And I'm not sure on these whether you've got one at the bottom or at the back so I'm going to check it out. I'm not sure whether it's actually like an exhaust rattle noise or is an engine vibration noise. So we're going to get the car. What I'm going to do first is probably just take out that centre bolt there. I'll let you know the size when I'm doing it. I'm going to just check, take that bolt out there and just check the rock of the engine to see if this one is rubbing. There is a little gap under there and I don't think that is rubbing. So I've read online if that, if that one is rubbing onto that rubber there then this one is shot. Um, but there is a little bit of movement on here but I think that's normal because this mount doesn't stop up and down it just stops sort of backwards and forwards so we're going to check that one first and then I'll probably jack the car up and then we'll check the exhaust and stuff underneath okay so this bolt at the back here on this engine mount is a 17 mil and I've got a half inch drive extension bar with a half inch drive ratchet on there so I'm just going to remove that and then we're going to see what difference that makes right I've removed one two three 17 mil keep them all in order because they're all different sizes and then this mount should in theory come out of here fairly easy like so and then and then have a look at it okay so the rubbers aren't broken on that or anything it's not perished in there in there. Nope, so I don't think there's anything wrong with this mount whatsoever. So that one is lovely and solid. Whoops, don't drop that down there. There's still a gap under that one which tells me that this engine mount hasn't dropped at all. So next thing to do is I'm going to put this back on and they're going to jack the car up and we're going to check the exhaust system. Just a word of advice, when you're reinstalling these uh, bolts, just uh, that one's not too bad because it goes into the steel, but these two are actually into the aluminium mount, and uh, if you do them up too tight you will strip the thread. So I don't know the, the uh, torque settings for these, but I'll just do them up to what I think is tight enough, but don't do them up over tight, because you'll strip the threads. Right, I've got the car jacked up. <laughs> so you've got the exhaust, comes from the engine, down here first thing I've noticed is this heat shield here is that one there and there's another fix in just there it's corroded so I'm gonna have to take these off and put some washers on there if you move to the same one back here that one is completely corroded so I think this is sitting on this and causing a vibration that that exhaust mount is is fine that's perfect and then if you move your way down the back of the car you've got another little one here which is corroded so i'm going to have to put a washer on that and then i'm going to do that first and then i'm going to check this one here at the back this is where the mid pipe meets the back box and then splits off to both sides of the exhaust system just so you know i use a 10 mil socket to remove these uh, on a quarter inch drive ratchet Removes these fixings one and two. Now I'm just all I'm going to do is put a really big washer on there. Because where that's corroded, it will just hold that then and clamp that back in place, rather than rip it out. Because it is quite nice to have a heat shield because it does do something, you know. Right, the bigger washers are on now. Um, as you can see, I've given them a little bit of a spray with some black gloss just to give them a bit of protection. It ain't going to do nothing, but makes me feel better. Uh, this. This fix in here was loose, so I've redone that, so that stopped that rattle. There is one here, which isn't rattling. There's one at the front, which is like brand new, it's under all this cover tray, so that's like brand new. That doesn't rattle now, that doesn't rattle now, that doesn't rattle now. That one, there's one missing here, which I think I took off because it was absolutely corroded. 
This one uh, down here isn't rattling. So what we're going to do now is have a quick listen to the car and then we'll have a further investigate if it's still not cured. Right, the car's sounding a little better. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jack up the rear of the car. And we're just going to check all the exhaust rubbers because it sounds a bit throaty. I don't know whether the, the baffles are going in the back box or whatnot, but we're going to check that now. As you join me under the Civic, you've got another engine mount here, an uh, engine mount, exhaust mount, which is fine. You've got one this side, which is fine. You've also got one up here, there, which is absolutely fine. The exhaust isn't banging on anything, so there's no vibration from the exhaust at all. Um, you've got a little one up there which holds the, when these go out of the back. You've probably got one up there as well, which is up there, which is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna start it up and have a listen from underneath. Running in now. Um, a bit of water dripping out there, but that's normal because it's been stood. They both sound the same. This isn't blowing anywhere at all, this exhaust. So I'm not actually sure. I have to do a bit more investigation, lads, just to see what is actually wrong. Right guys, just let you know what I've done. I've just put my jack underneath the engine, just on the sump, a little bit. Not a lot, just to take the weight of the engine. And then as you can see, that mount there, I took this nut out of, the centre mount there, and it's just lifted it enough to be able to get a couple of washers under there. I've seen this fix online. You put a couple of washers on there. I'll just flip the camera. The washers under there to make sure that this isn't actually rubbing on this body here. So two washers under there and then put this back in and drop it back down. I've now just drilled out two washers that now fit on um, here. So all I'm gonna do is get the washers and put them under here like so. One and two. Then get the bolt and put that back in there, get it all lined up and tighten it down. Okay guys, so effectively just end up with two washers underneath that mount there. There is a little notch so I just cut out um, the side of my washers to get that under there. But um, yeah, there's two washers there. What I'm going to do is take the car for a spin and see what it sounds like now. Now I've done the exhaust, heat shields, put these two washers on this mount. Uh, that is then increased um, the size of that gap there. I don't know if it was rubbing, but I don't think it was, but it might have been. But let's go and have a test drive now. Just a quick one while I'm down here. Um, a guy wanted a video of how to remove the, um, the bulbs on these. Obviously, I haven't got any. So if you have got a decent set of fog lights um, for an 8th gen, I'll be interested in buying them off of you. So yeah, give me a, a DM on uh, Instagram. And um, yeah, we can chat about how much you want for them. So let's go and take the car for a test drive. Just driven the car, just took it for a little test drive and um, it's about 60% better. There's no sort of exhaust resonance now. And the, obviously those two washers have taken that mount up slightly, so it's taken any sort of vibration off that was there. I don't know if it's me, uh, so it's a 1300 RPM, it's like a little tiny throaty, like a warble, not more of a vibration, but like a warble. I don't know if that's standard, but anyone, anyway, give me a comment down below. I've just come to the garage, so let's have a quick look if the little uh, car's still there. Yep, my little Clio is still in the garage, Mark 1 Clio. Um, track car. I'm hoping to get it on track actually in May. Uh, Craigie B. Uh, I think he's going on track either in his new Fiesta or his Clio. So hopefully there's a track at Blyton. So we're going to get to that one hopefully. Hopefully this car will be ready to go. What I do need to get is a set of track wheels and tyres. That one's got a little bit of flatty on it now but it hasn't been moved for ages. And what I also need to do is the fuel pump which is located under there. Change the fuel pump because it does burn out. Yeah, so she should be good to go. Right, guys, that's today's little video. Um, just to close it, I'm going to say, yeah, definitely it has sorted out the exhaust rattle, those washers, and just taking up that little engine mount by a couple of mil has sorted out the little tiny vibration. 
There's a tiny one there, but just give me a comment down below if um, your car does the same. It's around 1300 to 1500 as you're pulling away or whatever. Not so much in first, but if you let the drops down, let the revs drop down in second and then get it to sort of 1200 RPM, then accelerate away. That's when I get a slight, semi slight now, probably me being picky. I'll probably just have to put the radio up a little bit more. So um, if you like the videos, guys, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for being a subscriber and I'll see you on the next one.